Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my March favorites, all the products that I have been obsessed about in the past month. Without talking further, I'm going to jump right into the video. The first product that I wanted to share with you is this Clinique Prep Start Eye Cream. Before putting on the makeup, I use it under my eyes and I have really noticed the difference. It reduces puffiness, it reduces lines, it also helps reduce dark circles under your eyes. So I've been really really obsessed with this product. The second one is the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. I have talked about the earlier product also and this one I have talked about in my MAC and Clinique haul. And since then I have been using these products very regularly and I love this foundation. This is an oil control foundation so it controls my oil and it's also very long lasting so it lasts almost entire day. I have also traveled with this. I went to Coimbatore and in Coimbatore I was wearing this every day. It was so hot out there. I was wearing this every day and it was really really very helpful. So if you have oily skin really give this a try. The next product I have been using is this MAC Conceal and Correct Palette. It is so difficult to get a contour palette in India but if you buy this one palette from MAC you'll get all the colors required for contouring and highlighting. My shade is, what shade is this? Medium deep and I have been obsessed with this orange corrector for my dark circles, this highlighter and this dark concealer color for contouring and this is for my under eye concealing. So this is an amazing palette, a good investment if you are looking for a good concealer, corrector, highlighter, contouring palette you should definitely give this a go. The next product I'm so excited about, I have been regularly using this and I don't remember what I was doing before this product, it is Koti Airspun Loose Face Powder. Oh my god, I saw this product in Patrick Star's video. If you don't know who Patrick Star is, I will leave the link below in the description bar. Check him out. He is he is so cool. And I got the idea of using Cody Espen loose face powder for uh, setting your makeup from him. And I got it from Amazon. I got it at 1,500 rupees. Again, don't quote me on that. I know Amazon increases or decreases price according to the supply and demand but I got it for 1500 rupees this is like this is best friend for people who have oily skin it controls my oil like anything it sets my makeup it keeps my makeup in place for the entire day I really don't know what I was doing before this I have no idea I mean this is a godsend it's it's amazing I love it so much if you want a review on this product or if you want a tutorial on this product please let me know and I'll do it but if you have oily skin go for this one eyes I have been obsessed about these two Inglot gel liners I have four in these in this series they are AMC eyeliner gel they have got colors like blue pink so I have got white, blue, brown and black, sorry brown and black. I have not used the white that much but I have used the blue one not that much yet. But I have used these black and brown so much and I love them. They are so nice. I don't know, I, I since I've been starting using these eyeliners, I have completely stopped using Maybelline gel liner. These are much, much better than Maybelline gel liners. They glide on properly and smoothly. They are long lasting. They are black as black. When they dry, they become extremely black and I just love them. And this brown is so good for a natural look. If you don't want that black, jet black eyeliner on your eyes, you just want to go natural. You can always use a brown gel liner. So. This number is black one is number 77 and the brown one is number 90. Don't buy this product on Amazon. 
do not buy it because I saw the other day they're selling it for 5,000 rupees. I got it for 1,000 rupees in the store. Don't buy it on Amazon. It's, it's insane. How can they even sell it for 5,000 rupees? The next thing that I have been obsessed about in the past month is this Z palette. I know it's not something that I'm gonna be, you know, it's not a makeup product. It's something that you store your makeup in, but look at it. I stored all my eyeshadows in it and they are looking so pretty. This Z palette is from PAC. I will link down below where you can buy it. So I have arranged all my eyeshadows here. This section is Makeup Geek. This section is Inglot and the upper row is PAC eyeshadows. I love it so much. I love how it looks like and I love how big it is. Can you believe it's huge? Okay, the next product is, again, I have talked about this product in my MAC haul. This is a nude eye pencil. I use it to uh, line my lower waterline. Today also I've used it. I love it. it. It makes my eye look so much bigger and it's a nude color. It's, it's just going to give an impression of a bigger eye and nothing else. It's, it's, it's a nude color. Obviously it's not going to give you any color but I love it. And this is in the shade Risqué. The next thing I was obsessed about was or I'm still obsessed about is this Real Technique brushes. I have got, I think I've got all of them now. I've been collecting them since the past couple of months. I was watching a video of Wayne Goss. If you don't know Wayne Goss, again, I will put the link below and check him out. He has mentioned that Real Technique brushes are made up of synthetic uh, bristle. So what happens is that, first of all, it's cruelty free. It's completely vegan. And the other thing is that you can use any brush for anything you want because they are synthetic bristles. So suppose this brush is multitask brush. You can use it for, I have today used it for my bronzing. You can use it for foundation. You can use it for powdering, blush, anything you want. So if it's written on the brush like this one is a contour brush, but I love, love to use it under my eyes to clean up the powder when I set my under eye concealer with the powder I love to use this brush to clean it up I don't use it for contour at all <laughs> then this brush is the deluxe crease brush I don't know how you're gonna use it in your eye crease I have no idea because the bristles are so short and so tightly packed this is not going to work for your crease but I use it for concealing my under eye and also putting a base on my eye like eyelids. I use it for that. I don't use it for my crease at all. <laughs> this is a foundation or buffing brush. I use it to apply foundation all over my face. And the last one is a blush brush. A very, very soft and fluffy brush, blush brush. And I actually use it for blush. I don't use it for any other purpose. I use this for blush. But these are my absolute, absolute favorite in the Real Technique brushes. So thank you so much for watching. This was uh, the March favorites video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, if you want to see any reviews, if you want to see any tutorial on the products that I've, sh I've shown, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Yes. I'll see you next time. Bye.